A team is not a group of people that work together. A team is a group of people that trust each other. Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress, working hard for something we love is called passion. The goal is not to be perfect by the end. The goal is to be better today. Leadership is not about being in charge. Leadership is about taking care of those in your charge. Most people think leadership is about being in charge. Most people think leadership is about having all the answers and being the most intelligent person or the most qualified person in the room. The irony is that it is the complete opposite. Leadership is about empowering others to achieve things they did not think possible. Leadership is about pointing in the direction, articulating a vision of the world that does not yet exist. Then asking help from others to ensure that vision happens. The ability for a group of people to do remarkable things hinges on how well those people can pull together as a team. For values or guiding principles to be truly effective they have to be verbs. It's not integrity, it's always do the right thing. It's not innovation, it's look at the problem from a different angle. Articulating our values as verbs gives us a clear idea, we have a clear idea of how to act in any situation. When we are in groups, when we are surrounded by people who believe what we believe, trust emerges, and our very survival and progress goes up. Don't show up to prove, show up to improve. When we help ourselves, we find moments of happiness. When we help others, we find lasting fulfillment. Those in pursuit of why are inspired to do what is right. Those in pursuit of what are driven to do what is easy. No one knows everything. But together, we know a whole lot. Authenticity is about imperfection. And authenticity is a very human quality. To be authentic is to be at peace with your imperfections. The great leaders are not the strongest, they are the ones who are honest about their weaknesses. The great leaders are not the smartest, they are the ones who admit how much they don't know. The great leaders can't do everything, they are the ones who look to others to help them. Great leaders don't see themselves as great, they see themselves as human. Communication is not about speaking what we think. Communication is about ensuring others hear what we mean. Words may inspire but only action creates change. Always plan for the fact that no plan ever goes according to plan. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it and what you do simply proves what you believe. Listening is not understanding the words of the question asked, listening is understanding why the question was asked in the first place. A small team, committed to a cause bigger than themselves, can achieve absolutely anything. A leader's job is not to do the work for others, it's to help others figure out how to do it themselves, to get things done and to succeed beyond what they thought possible. Great leaders are willing to sacrifice the numbers to save the people. Poor leaders sacrifice the people to save the numbers. If you sell what you do, you're a vendor. If you sell why you do it, you're a brand. The responsibility of leadership is not to come up with all the ideas but to create an environment in which great ideas can thrive. Truly effective and inspiring leaders aren't actually driven to lead people, they are driven to serve them. The hardest part is starting. Once you get that out of the way, you will find the rest of the journey much easier. People will do as they are told by someone who outranks them, but they will only follow someone they believe in. Trust has two dimensions, competence and integrity. 
We will forgive mistakes of competence. Mistakes of integrity are harder to overcome. Leaders don't look for recognition from others, leaders look for others to recognize. Success comes when we wake up every day in that never-ending pursuit of why we do what we do. There is a difference between listening and waiting for your turn to speak. We'd achieve more if we chase the dream instead of the competition. There are only two ways to influence human behavior, you can manipulate it or you can inspire it. Self-confidence is the ability to exercise restraint in the face of disrespect and still show respect in response. Confidence is believing in yourself. Arrogance is telling others you're better than they are. Confidence inspires. Arrogance destroys. If you talk about what you believe, you will attract those who believe what you believe. If you want to be a great leader, remember to treat all people with respect at all times. For one, because you never know when you'll need their help. And two, because it's a sign you respect people, which all great leaders do. The leaders who get the most out of their people are the leaders who care most about their people. Trust emerges when we have a sense that another person or organization is driven by things other than their own self-gain. Life is beautiful not because of the things we see or do. Life is beautiful because of the people we meet. What you do is proof of what you believe. Stand for people, not a product or service, metric, or number. If we stand for real, living, breathing people, we will change the world. Focus on long-term success but be willing to make short-term adjustments to get there. When people are financially invested, they want a return. When people are emotionally invested, they want to contribute. Studies show that over 80% of Americans do not have their dream job. If more knew how to build organizations that inspire, we could live in a world in which that statistic was the reverse, a world in which over 80% of people loved their jobs. People who love going to work are more productive and more creative. They go home happier and have happier families. They treat their colleagues and clients and customers better. Inspired employees make for stronger companies and stronger economies. Trust doesn't develop from always doing the right thing. Trust comes from taking responsibility when we do the wrong thing. Emails get reactions. Phone calls start conversations. Vision is the ability to talk about the future with such clarity it is as if we are talking about the past. The trick to balance is to not make sacrificing important things become the norm. Dream big. Start small. But most of all, start. Success always takes help. Failure is done alone. Don't quit. Never give up trying to build the world you can see, even if others can't see it. Listen to your drum and your drum only. It's the one that makes the sweetest sound. It is better to disappoint people with the truth than to appease them with a lie. If you want to achieve anything in this world, you have to get used to the idea that not everyone will like you. Leadership is a way of thinking, a way of acting and, most importantly, a way of communicating. Give someone responsibility and they will do their best. Make them accountable and they will do even better. Offer your strengths to others and you'll be amazed how many people offer their strengths to you. The mind can be convinced, but the heart must be won. 
We must all try to empathize before we criticize. Ask someone what's wrong before telling them they are wrong. Achievement happens when we pursue and attain what we want. Success comes when we are in clear pursuit of why we want it. The value of our lives is not determined by what we do for ourselves. The value of our lives is determined by what we do for others. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.